13-year-old Alexander Batanov has blood cancer. He was evacuated from Kharkiv to Kiev in January 2023. 7-year-old Christina Pyzhek was evacuated to the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in March 2022. Both trips were made possible by the hospital and Tabletochki Foundation, a Kiev-based nonprofit that helps Ukrainian children diagnosed with cancer. When Russia invaded Ukraine, Alexander, Sasha for short, was at home in the Kharkiv region, bedridden. His mother, Natalia Batanova, says doctors initially thought he had a spinal fracture. We closed all the windows. Our son was on the floor, lying on mattresses, in pain. We slept fully dressed. Windows would shatter, the door would open from blast waves. The roof shook. We couldn't take Sasha even to the basement. He couldn't move. When they finally made it to the hospital, doctors learned the boy had blood cancer. So, amid a war, Sasha started his own fight against the disease, first at the Kharkiv hospital, and then at the Ahmadid Children's Hospital in Kiev. His evacuation and treatment were made possible by the Tabletochki Foundation. Hospital number 16 had large generators, so I guess we didn't have big issues. Today, Sasha doesn't like talking about problems. Instead, he supports his mom, who worries about him, and his dad, who's been fighting at the front lines since day one of the invasion. We go through everything, despair, everything. At times Sasha is supporting me, at times I'm supporting him. We take turns and we make it work. We fight, we make peace. That's love and it will win. Last spring, Sasha underwent a bone marrow transplant in Kiev, where he now lives. He dreams of a full recovery and wants his dad to return home from the front. Can you say how you like it here in America? You like it? I learned some English. Seven-year-old Christina Pyzhek was undergoing chemotherapy in Lviv when Russia invaded. She has suffered from an optic nerve tumor since she was two. After the invasion, the family lost a chance to get Christina's treatment delivered to Ukraine. It was tough at the beginning. War, no access to her medication. We left Ukraine, but we didn't know where we are going, how we are going to manage. It was tough. Before the war, Christina and some other kids received medications thanks to benefactors. After Russia invaded, sending medication became impossible. Closed skies, huge lines at the border, lack of good refrigerators, things like that. The only solution was to send the child abroad. Tabletochki Foundation CEO Vyacheslav Bykov says 1,200 Ukrainian children were undergoing active cancer treatment when Russia invaded and most of them were evacuated to other countries so they could continue to receive treatment. Christina and seven more Ukrainians ended up at St. Jude Children's Hospital in the U.S. state of Tennessee. For Irina Shinkarenko in Washington, NRI's BOA News.